So guys, in this video, we have a quick little public service announcement that I got DM'd on my Instagram that may affect some of you brand new 2020 owners and also I fill you in on what mods and stuff we are doing this week. So starting with one of the mods guys, this truck right here, finally, my 2600, we're gonna be putting the lift kit on it Finally, we will be going up to Yoda Mafia. I'm going to be going with a Bill Sings 5100 lift in the front with some Old Man Emu Springs. And I don't know about the rear end yet. We may be putting some Deaver Leaf Springs on the rear end just because I have no idea how old anything is in that truck. The suspension does make sounds. It does ride soft, but it rides a little funny. So we'll be doing that. And I am on the search also for some wheels for that thing and new tires. So I won't spill all the beans yet but we are doing that with the truck this week. We are also doing with the 4Runner this week, the TRD cold air intake, it came in, and I will also be going over the Alpha Rex headlights that I have installed in the 4Runner, doing an update video for that, and with that, I will be installing the just standard Pro Series from them, which is their entry level ones. I'll be showing you guys the difference between Lux over on the driver's side, the Pro with halogens, and then I'll be putting some LEDs that I bought into the Pro as well to, to show you guys which avenues you should take with the Alpha Rex headlights if you guys so choose to go that route. So what is this public service announcement? Well, over on my Instagram, I got DM'd. Guys, I'm not really in any of the forums, Facebook pages, anything like that for the 4Runner. I just, as you guys tell me stuff, I like to post it on YouTube for you all and figure it out kind of our own way, right? Um, anyways, so Appalachian Venture, I'll leave his Instagram and everything and the IG video. He let me know that with the 2020s, there's a big issue right now with the screen scratching. So with the 2020, you get that nice big screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, all that stuff. However, in this photo right here, you guys see, I guess this was derived from forums, I think, it's showing scratches. Now, if you guys are cleaning your vehicle yourselves, first off, good on you, use microfiber. Please use microfiber, guys. It's cheap. You can get uh, big bundle packs and stuff at like Costco, uh, online on Amazon. Please use microfiber in your vehicle. And when you use it in your vehicle, don't do your whole vehicle with the same microfiber and then touch this glass of the screen. Apparently this glass is very scratchable. So his remedy for it, and I will also leave a link down in the description, is this nice glass film. Think of it as a screen cover uh, for your phone, right? It's for the tablet inside your 4Runner that you guys use all the time. We'll be picking up one for my wife's RAV4 because it is the same type of screen as well in hers and I don't want it to get scratched. I do use a microfiber, however, I don't want it to get scratched any chances like that. The one in the 4Runner, it has like a little uh, plasticky feeling film over it um, because it's a smaller screen but it's not like glass like this RAV4 and I guess the new 4Runners are as well. So if you guys have a protective cover on your screen still from the factory, don't peel it off yet uh, and definitely don't use a shirt or a towel or anything like that to wipe off your fingerprints because it is a glass and it's obviously I guess not the best glass. Guys, I can't wait for this week ahead. I am off from the Air Force and I get to focus on YouTube It'll be great. So I'm excited to do all these mods for you guys. Catch up on videos and stuff that we need to get caught up on and update you guys on modifications in the vehicles and how things are holding up and everything like that. So if you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing and returning subscribers as always. Freaking appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, see y'all later.